Let's go shopping at Ikea and I'm gonna share my 10 most favorite new items for 2021. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. I am sitting here at Ikea in Edmonton. I actually have to go pick up some things for the little lake house. We are working on the kids' bedroom in there, the secondary bedroom, and I'm hoping to share that with you soon. I know it's been so long since I've shared a makeover in there. We are working away as hard as we can on the house with uh, supply issues, with our little mini two-person crew. It's definitely been a challenge, but we are on our way to sharing another room makeover. So I need uh, a couple of mattresses for the room. I need some sheets. I love getting mattresses and sheets at Ikea, but I also did want to check out all of their new items for the year and share with you my favorite ones. Plus I want to share with you tips for shopping at Ikea. So let's go. My first Ikea shopping tip is to make sure that all of the items that you need from Ikea are in stock before you go to the store because it is a frustrating store to walk around. If you've been there, you know what I mean. You have to follow all of these arrows through corridors and it is kind of a full day deal. So just go online. I go to Ikea.ca because I'm in Canada. Find the item that you want to get and then you can click on it and see if it's in stock and exactly how many are in stock in your store and exactly exactly where to find them. This has saved me a lot of headache over the years shopping at Ikea. In this case, I want this mattress. I know it's in stock, so I know that my Ikea trip will not be in vain. Now let's head into the store and see what we can find. I always like to go up the stairs into the showroom area. This is my tip number two. If you go look around the showrooms, you might find some ways to use some of the items that you'll find in Ikea that you haven't thought of before. They have some wonderful ways of styling things and organizing things that I think are really gonna help you source your items as you walk through the rest of the store. This is one of my favorite rooms in our current Ikea here in Edmonton. I think it is so cottage chic and I love this look. This was an idea that I hadn't ever thought of before. They made a little corner in their breakfast nook area and used an outdoor chair. Here is my favorite new item in Ikea for 2021. Number one, it's this Voxlov chair. It's $119 Canadian, it is bamboo, and I think it has such a fantastic modern look. Favorite Ikea item number two that I came across is this beautiful bronze colored bar cart for only $169 Canadian. I think it has such classic lines. I would have grabbed this if I didn't already have a gold bar cart. You can use bar carts for side tables, for entertaining, for outside, lots of different things to use them for. My favorite Ikea item number three, I love this one. This is the whole tarp rail and hook system. So this is the new system they have. I have their old rail and hook system. I've used them in my campers. I've used them in my kids' bathrooms and for organizing. These are fantastic if you are a visual organizer like me and you wanna get things up and off your countertops and onto the walls. I love that they now have this beautiful gold or bronze color here in the system and they're all very affordable. The rails are affordable and all of the pieces that you can put on the rails I think are affordable as well. Now let's have a look at their bedroom section. They always have some great beds and bedding. The next new Ikea item that I absolutely love, number four, is this copper blad duvet set. I love this denim look. I think this could look fantastic in a coastal style home or a modern home. And I think it's a very neutral kind of base for any sort of bedscape that you wanna create. Favorite new item number five is this cushion cover here. There's actually a whole line of this Im, Imjudin, 
Imbjudin, oh dear, <laughs> set. And they have lots of green and pink kind of garden style accessories. I'll make sure to link that and everything I'm mentioning in this video down in the description box below. Speaking of cushion covers, my next tip for general shopping at Ikea is definitely go there to buy cushion covers. They have such a fantastic variety. They are very well priced and I always love getting my cushion inserts here too. You can find something in every color to match every decor style and they have so many fun textures right now. Another tip for Ikea shopping is this is where I always buy my drapes. Again, very affordable. Plus, I love that they come in nice long lengths so you can hem them to make sure they fit your windows exactly. Next general Ikea shopping tip is to check out their duvet section. They again have really well priced duvets. They have a variety of warm and cool duvets and they have all of the bed sizes. They usually have what I want in stock so I definitely picked up a duvet for the little lake house room. They also have fantastic duvet covers and sheet sets. So I went ahead and found just a really nice textured white duvet set for the little lake house bedroom and some sheets as well. Another tip for shopping at Ikea, you can buy just single sheets here. I often like to just use a fitted sheet on my beds and then use a duvet cover rather than a top sheet and just wash the duvet cover like I would a sheet. I loved this Ophelia duvet cover, just the nice textured color. It has a new lower price. So this is the one that I decided to purchase for the little lake house kids bedroom. Here's the next new item that I'm loving at Ikea right now. It's the Backsnap Organizer line. These come in all sorts of different sizes. I love that they are shallow and I love that they're a nice neutral color. You might remember that I used these ones for our recent main bedroom closet renovation and they fit so many different items. New item number seven that I am loving this year are the Sol Vinden solar powered floor lamps. These are super cool because they are powered by the sun, so they're not gonna use up your batteries, neither do they use electricity. They would look fantastic on a patio. The next favorite item that I am loving is this beautiful textured wool rug. Now this is a bit more of an expensive item, but I think for a handmade woolen rug, I think this is a great price. Again, this is a nice neutral color, beautiful textures, and it would look good in a variety of different styles. Fantastic in a Scandinavian styled room or a transitional styled room. Favorite new Ikea item number eight, is the Maslanda picture ledge in this new distressed pine look. I thought this was fantastic and this could look good in a cottage chic sort of space. I use picture ledges for a variety of different things, not just for pictures, but you can store smaller items on them as well. Now let's have a look in the last section that I like to look at in Ikea, which is their outdoor and garden section. There were a few really cute things that I liked in here as well. My favorite new item in the garden section, however, were these little mini greenhouses, these decorative greenhouses. They have a black one and a white one. They're only $15 Canadian, and I thought they could look cute for having plants inside, but maybe they could be interesting for some sort of DIY as well. So I went ahead and grabbed the white one. Now I'm off to the warehouse section to find the mattress that I need for Little Lake House. I made sure, like I showed you at the beginning, that it was in stock and I just went to the exact spot that it was in and put it on my cart. That's my next general shopping tip for Ikea is to make sure that you're going to be able to carry all of the items you have. So grab the appropriate cart and make sure to bring the appropriate vehicle.
On my way out of the store, I did see these tiles as well that I thought would be fantastic for outdoors. And I also saw their plastic bag dispensers and I had an idea for these for storing Cricut material. So make sure to tune in to the very, very end of this video and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did with these. hot we're on track to beat like record-breaking heat temperatures here in Alberta this week so Whew. so I'm back in the van I had a great browse at Ikea honestly it was mostly a browse this time because we are trying to save most of our money to finish up this lake house rental so today was more of a utility shopping trip I hope you enjoyed those 10 new finds that I loved at Ikea as far as what I actually am bringing home today I did grab a double mattress for the lake house bedroom I grabbed some duvet covers in just that really nice natural textured white because those are really easy to clean I can keep them looking clean grabbed some sheets and what else did I get oh I got that little greenhouse thinking that maybe I could use it for something other than a greenhouse I thought that could be a cool DIY for a bunch of different reasons and then I got those plastic bag keepers because I think I'm gonna be able to use those to store Cricut materials in my studio and that was it for this trip so I'm pretty proud of myself for not buying everything in sight though I do have things on my shopping list for maybe later on down the road thank you so much for watching this video I hope you found it useful let me know down in those comments below which of these 10 new items was your favorite also let me know if you've seen anything else amazing at Ikea this year that I definitely have to check out if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will love and enjoy watching next right up here okay so here's what I did with those plastic bag dispensers I thought these holes would be the perfect size for my Cricut vinyls and iron-on materials and you can either set these up on your craft room countertops or you could attach them to the wall what do you think